Good morning, Calvary. Happy Friday. It's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. I'm looking forward to seeing you this weekend. Uh, I know God's going to do great things. Uh, as we're continuing our Transform series, I get to share with you uh, out of Hebrews 13, uh, verse 5. And, and I just got to tell you, I was really excited that I get to share this because this is one of those verses that God used to change my life, change my attitude, and, and really help me to trust Him uh, even more. Let me just read it for you and then tell you my story. Uh, Hebrews 13, 5, the, the writer says, Keep your life free from the love of money and be content with what you have. For God has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Did you catch that? Keep your life free from the love of money. Be content with what you have. For God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. And, and you go, okay, why is that so important uh, in my life? Well, um, years and years and years ago, I mean, uh, probably 25 plus years ago, uh, as Calvary was a little church and uh, I was a young pastor back then, had dark hair and everything, uh, we were not well cared for financially. And, uh, and I know that there were some people in the church and the business meeting that said, hey, we want to give the pastor a raise. And, uh, and I was excited because they told me, we're going to ask for a raise. We think you deserve it. And uh, lo and behold, that, uh, that raise got voted down on the floor of the business meeting. And I was crushed. I was angry. I was hurt. You know, I needed to take care of my family. And so uh, I did what I usually do when, when I'm really super stressed. I, I got alone with God and I started praying. And, and look, I don't know about you. Uh, when I pray, I just tell God what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling. He knows it anyway. So I was just going off about how, God, how could you put me here? Why don't you put me in a church where people care about me? Uh, and these people are cheap and they're not wanting to, and all this stuff. And, uh, and God just reminded me that he's with me and he'll take care of me. Uh, we were actually preaching through the book of Hebrews at that time and I had just read Hebrews 13, 5, keep your life free from the love of money, be content with what you have. Why? Because God is with us. And God brought that verse to my mind. Actually, just kind of like slapped me with it. I didn't bring it to my mind, it was like a hammer to my head. And, uh, and he basically said this, Chad, it's not the church that provides for you. It's me. I provide for you. And so if you have an issue with what I've provided, you need to take that up with me. At that point, there was conviction in my spirit because I realized I was angry because I was being selfish. I wanted more. Uh, yeah, I want to take care of my family, but I wanted more. And I was complaining to God about how he was providing for me, his servant. I mean, after all, God has everything. He doesn't, he doesn't need the church to provide me money. God, God uses the church to provide a salary for, for pastors, but he doesn't need the church to do that. And, and immediately, I just repented and, and uh, confessed to God my, my sin of selfishness, and I just said, okay, God, I'm going to trust you. You're going to give me enough, and I'm going to rely on you, and I'm not going to complain. And you know what? That was the last time I ever complained about the, the amount of money that was given to me for compensation. That was the last time that I, and that was, I'm talking about complaining to God, uh, and, and I don't complain to, to people. I praise God for the generosity of Calvary towards its staff. Uh, we're well cared for. Uh, and, uh, and even though I didn't think that at the time, I real, God used that to, to let me know that I had a problem in my heart about my attitude about uh, the church. And so God confronted me, I changed, and I hold on to that because, hey, look, keep your life free from the love of money. That's hard to do. Keep your life free from the love of money. Be content with what you have. Why? Because God gave it to you, and God loves you, and God can care for you. And, and we can be content because God is always with us. He'll never leave us, he'll never forsake us, all the way to the gates of heaven where we'll be with him always forever face to face. So uh, my encouragement to you today is to learn that lesson uh, from me rather than the hard way as I learned it. Trust God to provide for you because he will and be content with what you have because God loves you and he gave it to you. I hope that helps and I hope that helps you have a great day. God bless Calvary.